this is the time we get so many questions because people, late in the year, people are usually buying clubs for specials because clubs go on specials sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Early in the year, they're trying to get that new equipment in their bag and they want to get fit. So we get, we're very busy this time of year. Shiny objects. Yeah, shiny, shiny new, shiny fun, okay? But so <coughs> let's me. talk about this for a little bit and we're gonna talk about the importance. So whether you're getting your own clubs fit to you, whether you're working with us in the fittings, whether you've had them done before, we're just gonna give you a quick reminders here of what's going on here, okay? And, and also for the guys that have been with, fit with us and had a lot of clubs from us, I'm gonna give you some extra reminders here. But well, now I'm gonna give you an example right here. First thing let's talk about is, is grip size. Okay, I want to talk okay. about grip size? Sure. Okay, grip size. Uh, we'll see, based on the hand measurement, um, generally we're going to see a grip. Uh, most of the guys that are coming to the schools is too small. Right. And that leads to added grip pressure where I call it piccolo fingers, if you want to. They get down the grip, the grip is so small. You have a really small one here for me. No, probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> but what ends up happening is they get it into their fingers and they're right. going, I can't feel the club head. Right. or I can't feel the club at all. And then they get to the top of the swing and it's like, oh my God, where is, I it. can't feel the club. Yeah. So all of a sudden now it becomes a super tight grip. Your wrists aren't gonna right. work. You're not gonna be able to release the Guys, club properly. Guys, the grip size is based on your hand size. And okay. we have really umpteenth amount of grip sizes. It really comes down to our grip with no wraps all the way up to eight wraps under our yeah. grip, okay? Based on your hand size. Also based on things like arthritis. Arthritis. If based on other things in your hands. Some guys we have that have really bad fingers. We had a guy that came in here and he was a, he was a, a roofer. And mm -hmm. literally his fingers were just mangled. I mean, I felt sorry for him, but we built bigger grips up for him, okay? With our grips. Well, Here's the deal. If a grip is too small, it falls into the fingers, you will grip it too tight, it will hinder release, it will hinder leverage, you're going to lose distance, you're going to lose accuracy. If a grip is too big, it's the same thing. If a grip is too big for your hands, okay, it is now going to go in the palm of your hands, you will not have proper release of the club, you will not have proper leverage of the club, you will lose significant distance and consistency. And we've proven this time and time and time again. So we want to get an ideal grip size for your hand size. And yes, Compared to standard, these grip, our grips are bigger because we set up in single plane, so we've got to get it more riding into the meat of the lead hand and more and a little bit above the fingers of the trail. Okay, so we but we've got to get a grip size that fits your hand size. If you go pull a grip off a shelf at, at a store or at a, at, a, at a pro shop, it will be too small for you. I promise you. And the other one is too is the the lower side is built right within our and, grip. And what we have done with the new grips. And this is the new one right here with the black top is we made it what's called a plus four grip. It just means it's taking some of the taper out. It's become in vogue, it's become popular a couple last couple of years. You guys heard more about it. So now we can just build up the entire grip. Maybe it's one wrap, two wraps, three wraps for your hand size, okay? So when we when we get your measurements, one of the first things we're gonna say is, what's your hand size? Do you have issues with your hands? And you guys know when you fill out the fitting form, that's what we have, okay? We're trying to get an ideal grip size that works for you, that gives you maximum feel, maximum consistency, maximum leverage, which gives you optimal maximum distance, and so on, okay?